Next, we come to capital structure ratios. Capital structure ratios. Remember, we, we are doing solvency ratios and we said it consists of two components. Two components. One is the capital structure and one is the leverage. We did leverage ratios and let's look at the capital structure ratios. One of them is total debt to total capital. This ratio measures the proportion of debt compared to the total capital of the firm. All debt, entire short term and long term debt divided by debt as well as equity, total capital. This reflects the financial strength of the company. Higher the ratio, higher is the amount of debt and higher the risk. Predators would normally look, say let's say potential investors uh, would look for a company with a low total debt to low capital ratio. So if I, if, if somebody wants to borrow, if a company wants to borrow money from me, what would I look at? I would not lend money to a highly leveraged company. But if this ratio is low for the company, I do not mind because I find that the company is not so much leveraged. They may be able to handle the debt. They will be able to pay me my interest. They will be able to make me payments in time. Total debt to total capital. This is another way of looking at it, students. When, uh, if I'm putting money in a company with low debt, it also means to me uh, that, that the shareholders, the own holders, the owners, they have a large stake in the company and therefore I feel safer to put in more money. Yes or no, they have, the shareholders, owners themselves have a high stake. So, can we compute the total debt, the total capital from these figures? This, this is my short term debt, this is my long term debt, right? That's the total debt. Total capital is all inclusive. Total debt, total capital, I get 43%. 43%. 3 out of 7. 3 out of 7 million consists of total debt. Next ratio is the debt equity ratio. Again, which shows how well creditors are protected debt by the shareholders equity. Again, higher the ratio, higher is the amount of debt. A debt equity ratio of 1, it means that the owners and lenders have an equal stake in the business. We are talking of a financial leverage ratio also similar to that. Lower the ratio, greater the financial stability. Next, you have a long term debt to equity ratio. Long term debt to equity ratio. These terms are normally with the capital structure ratios, most of them are self explanatory. Long term debt divided by the shareholders equity. You don't get the total funds only the long term debt. If this ratio is low, it indicates that the company will be able to raise loan easily if required. Compute the same balance sheet we take, compute the debt equity ratio from this, what do you get? Total debt is short and long term, equity is 4, so 3 by 4 or 0 0.75. And if you want only the long term debt equity ratio, you would take only long term 150 by equity 0 0.375. Another ratio is the debt to total assets. Indicating the percentage of assets financed by borrowers. If the company becomes insolvent, the assets would be sold and it's after all first uh, used to pay off the uh, creditors outside. Right? When the company goes into liquidation, sell the assets, the money would be used to first pay outsiders. After all, everything is settled, only then the shareholders get their money. Right? Total debt by total assets. Again, total debt including long and short. A lower ratio usually 0.5 is considered fair.
higher the debt to total assets, the greater the risk of the lenders. Therefore, higher will be the company's cost of borrowing. While a lower ratio is preferred, a very low ratio again it does not indicate. It means what? It's not, not maximizing the returns to the shareholders.